right, across the country this weekend, nearly one million Americans will walk together to build healthier lives. Right here in Minnesota, the Twin Cities Heart Walk is this Saturday, April 29th, to help raise money, awareness, and heartbeats. Two people working closely for the Heart Walk, Chris Lenhart and Laura Grant. Good morning to both of you. Good, Good morning. morning. Thank you for being here. Yes. Uh, Chris, I understand that you're a uh, survivor. That's correct. Explain your situation. How? Sure. I can't imagine that was uh, f any fun to deal with. No. But well, how did you find out you had problems? Sure. Tell us, to kind of take us through. Yeah, that. I'll take it through. So I, uh, at the end of 2013, I had an extra $100 in my pre-tax account. You know those things that you have mm -hmm. to spend, lose it or lose it? Oh, yeah. Instead of a 27th pair of glasses, I decided, hey, I'm going to go in for a heart scan because I had a friend who had done it, and he said he got peace of mind out of it. So I went in there thinking this is going to be 10 minutes out the door and then I'm going to be great. I, I did the scan, very easy. Two weeks later I got my paperwork back and I, it didn't say everything's great. It said you have a, a aortic root aneurysm, you need to come in right now and we need to do something about this immediately. Oh my Whoa. goodness. So I, uh, two months later, so it was a lot of prep and some prep time, two months later I'm down at Mayo Clinic having uh, open heart surgery for, uh, to repair it. And at the end of that surgery, after it was done, it was fixed, it went well. The doctor was like, it was growing at a rate that would have probably taken your life sometime in the next year, year and a half. Oh my, oh my goodness. goodness. And you had no... No symptoms. No symptoms. Yeah. And now, obviously, you are doing well. Yeah, it's great. It's, a fi it's kind of a fix it and forget it um, for me. So, and that's not everyone's plight in, in right. the heart world, but that was mine. The whole concept of this weekend is to walk together yes. and be in a community. Can you mm -hmm. talk a little bit about the goal of the walk? Absolutely. So we'll have 25,000 people come out from various community groups, over 160 companies here in the Twin Cities, all coming together to remember those in their lives who have been affected by heart disease. Many of them are survivors mm -hmm. themselves or walking for friends and family who are dealing with uh, heart disease and stroke. So it's a wonderful opportunity to come together, see that spirit that you can see on the screen there. Um, we're also looking to raise over $3 million this year, which will be a record-breaking year for us. How much money has been raised over the last however many years this has been going on at Target Field? We you know? typically raise about two and a half million to three million dollars each wow. year. That's amazing. Yes, yeah, so we're extremely proud of it. It's the largest fundraising walk in the state of Minnesota. And it just goes to show how many people these diseases really affect and what we can do when we come together to walk on Saturday. And how many people are related and connected to this? Maybe maybe not to your extent, Chris, but maybe they have a family member or a friend who has been through this. And, and you can kind of talk about that too, sure. how it can kind of hit your family out of the blue. It's not necessarily something that you have, you build up right. and then all of a sudden you're dealing with this. This came out of nowhere It did, you. and that was one of the things I liked about the Heart Walk and the, and the survivor group that's there. So when, when, I, when I had this, kind of one of my first instincts, and it's, I think it happens to a lot of people, was like, I'm alone. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I, and why me, and I'm alone. And even I have a very supportive family, but they didn't, you know, they hadn't, they didn't know what I was going through. Um, and they had their own issues to deal with, with, with me having it. But, so having that survivor network at the Heart Walk, when I get to walk up and I know, and I, and I lead the team at U.S. Bank now for Heart Walk, and there's so many stories that just come out of the woodwork at you, and people who have the same thing and share it with you, and you realize, I'm not alone at all. I have a, a real network of, of survivors, and that's what I like mm -hmm. about and what, what kind of advancements, because obviously two and a half, three million dollars a year, mm -hmm. it's, I mean, it's improving constantly, I'm sure, the, the work for a cure and the work to improve uh, how we screen people mm -hmm. uh, for heart disease. Uh, what, what, what have you seen in terms of improvements over the last several years? There's a tremendous amount, both here locally and across the country, and we're seeing new heart disease medications and heart failure medications for patients to improve quality of life and longe longevity of life. We're seeing different techniques for open heart surgery, so not everyone kind of has that completely mm -hmm. open heart surgery mm -hmm. that we have all heard about. Um, and then there's different advancements right here locally as well with CPR education. Recently we've passed hands-only CPR education in the schools. So now every high school student in the state of Minnesota graduates with the knowledge of uh, completing hands-only CPR. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Chris, real quick, yeah. your face is on a billboard now. Is that kind of cool, <laughs> kind of weird, kind of weird when you're driving into work? It is. So I become the number one celebrity in my household. There you go. Now. There you are. <laughs> so now awesome. the, I took that to become the number one celebrity in my household. But now, uh, and then the next question for my eight-year-olds was, Dad, when are you going to get on TV? I said, that's not going to happen. <laughs> hey, so now, we're, now I'm in trouble. Now, now, you, now you're big time. Now the right expectation is going through the roof. Chris and Laura, thank you guys so much for being here. We thank really you. do appreciate it. We want to get the information up on the screen. The Twin Cities Heart Walk is this Saturday from 7 a.m. until 11 a.m. at Target Field. There's free healthy snacks, giveaways, all sorts of stuff, a mascot race at 9, hmm. and the walk itself begins at 9.30. And awesome. you can still go. You can even show up the day of. You don't have to register. And uh, Keith Marler and Kelsey Carlson will yes. actually be yes. emceeing the event, so we'll you can there. find them out there as well. Thanks, guys. Thanks Thank you.